We are sitting now in a Students' Culture Center, which is a place uh, famous for conceptual generation of artists in Belgrade in the 70s, and for many different and alternative projects that were held throughout this kind of four decades or more. And now we are in the final stage of realization of the project uh, titled uh, From Dionysian and Socialism to Predatory Capitalism. We already have presented uh, uh, two workshops uh, coming out of these projects, uh, and now we're showing the third workshop, and the third work workshop was dealing with film and actually the kind of specific genre of film called docufiction. So uh, we try to work with archival materials, with found footage, to tell different stories and different histories that are maybe some kind of smaller stories, small narratives that were not so dominantly given to us in uh, textbooks, in, let's say, in childhood that we all read, especially to uh, reflect upon the idea of a social change from this period of socialism in Yugoslavia and to this new uh, period that we call like uh, wild predator capitalism of today. Uh, my first idea was to uh, to make a, a film about the volunteer uh, work, work uh, br brigades uh, which were formed straight after the Second World War, which uh, first idea, which first aim was to rebuild the country uh, after, after the grave devastation which occurred here in Yugoslavia during the Second World War. Uh, Romana's idea was to make a portrait of the famous shock worker from Yugoslavia. His name was uh, Alia Sirotanovic and was a, a miner in a, in, a, in a coal mine in central Bosnia. He was famous because he has uh, beaten the world record in digging the, the coil which was uh, uh, re recorded, which was set in the, the Soviet Russia straight after the, the Soviet Revolution. So, uh, in, in, in one sense, we realized that Alia, the, the famous sh sh uh, miner and the shock worker from Bosnia, was also, how would I say, a great fan of the, <coughs> of the volunteer uh, labor, laboring actions. He was a proud member of the volunteer labor brigades. Uh, my film is called Needle Threads Inc. And, um, it, uh, I began working in this uh, uh, workshop with a really broad, um, broad theme of uh, ending of obligatory military service, and uh, it took me quite a while to come to this really simple thing. It is about the tattoos uh, from Yugoslav National Army and uh, how this thing got to um, a lot of arms around ex-Yugoslavia. I don't have any reference to the past, uh, meaning like I don't use the historical footage and everything is recorded now and it's about the, how each person, um, each person's relationship toward this uh, tattoo uh, because there is also a daughter from somebody that has a tattoo and also people that uh, bear them on the arms and uh, one guy that began his tattoo career as a um, like doing this in a doing these tattoos in a national um, um, it's not nationally it's people's armies and finally uh, we have really an interesting kind of situation that all these stories are presenting uh, let's say kind of mosaic of different ways of treating the history of this whole period and especially with the focus on small heroes or small narratives that are maybe just representing uh, personal histories and that's how we hold this presentation this part of the project personal histories and personal stories